Thank you all for being here today. Since 1992, nearly 2,000 journalists and media workers have been killed on the job. That's when the Committee to Protect Journalists began counting deaths, both when the motives were confirmed or unconfirmed and uncertain. Last year, another 251 journalists were in prison around the world, and another 60 have been missing over the last few decades. Time Magazine recognized in 2018 as its Person of the Year the Guardians in the War on Truth, and that is who we're celebrating this First Amendment week. Yesterday, the Pulitzer Prize Board gave Maryland's Capital Gazette a special citation for its heroic ability to continue publishing even after a shooter killed five staff members in its newsroom. Today, we will remember those journalists who died while working over the past year. This memorial today is sponsored by the International Society of Weekly Newspapers, of which our own Dr. Deborah Gibbons, our communications chair, is vice president. You'll see as we go through these names, those killed come from many different types and sizes of media. You'll hear about radio and television journalists, freelance photographers, bloggers, editorial columnists, and reporters from small newspapers. You will hear names in many languages and from other parts of the world. Today, we are, by remembering them, we are taking a stand. We are making a commitment that free expression and journalism is something to be valued, even now as journalism and free expression are under attack. We are grateful to have both President Vincent and President Emeritus Whitlock here with us today to sign a pledge to campus media that is written in your program. Would you gentlemen like to come and say a few words? Well, good morning. Today is a uh, serious and a solemn day, but it's also, I would argue, a celebration of the freedom of speech we have in our country, uh, while certainly affirming that right for all of humanity. I looked through the program, The Guardians of Truth, those that have died this past year, and as Professor Whitehouse said, it really is a, uh, a beautiful tapestry of names and cultures and people. I look at those names, I don't know them, I know of them, but uh, their sons and daughters, their husbands, their fathers, uh, their wives, uh, their sisters, and think of the loss that uh, those families feel. And yet these individuals um, died doing what they felt was so very important. It's important in their parts of the world, it's certainly important here in the United States of America. I want to share one quote with you today, and I'm happy to share the podium with my friend and predecessor, Doug Whitlock, who uh, can tell about his experience as, uh, as uh, editor, right, of the, uh, of the paper here, of the Eastern Progress. I have two children, both of whom, I have five children, but my two oldest want to be journalism majors. One currently is, one will uh, enroll here shortly. And of course, my brother is a political cartoonist. So they all, practice what Thor Benson, he's not a, relative, a relative, but I certainly like his name. Uh, he's a Canadian journalist. He said, I've always been a great advocate of free speech. I think the more perspectives we hear, the better we'll understand how stupid we are. Uh, you think about the role of journalism, whether it's an editorial writer, a cartoonist, a columnist. Um, it's really to, to point out our flaws and what we're doing wrong and how we can do better. And this, I would argue, is a hallmark of our free society. And I would certainly advocate uh, that uh, it's something that a lot of nations and cultures and, and peoples aspire to. I want to leave you with this last quote. This is from William Douglas. If you know your Supreme Court history, Associate Justice Douglas was confirmed to the court at age 40. Uh, and he has the distinction of serving, having the longest tenure ever, 
on the Supreme Court, 36 years. He said this in 1952, so get some historical perspective. It's a long time ago. And he said this in 1952. Restriction of free thought and free speech is the most dangerous of all subversions. It is the one un-American act that could most easily defeat us. So as you here as students in America advocate for free speech and you practice it, I would argue that you're also serving as a beacon, as it were, for other people that don't have that right. And then if they practice it, what happened to them? In some cases they were killed, they were kidnapped, they were tortured, uh, and today we pause and memorialize uh, and, and in many ways celebrate their acts and lives of courage. So I commend you for being here today. Thank you to all those that have helped organize this First Amendment Week. Um, it's the reason that it's the First Amendment, I would argue, it's the first and most important of all our amendments. And uh, it's what makes us uh, who we are. So thank you very much. Ten years ago, President Emeritus Whitlock signed a pledge that we have posted here um, about campus media and free expression. Thank you very much for inviting me today. I don't get a chance to get in front of the microphone much anymore. Uh, as President Vincent Re referenced, I started out wanting to be a journalist. That was my initial career aspiration. I worked my way through college, uh, stringing for the Career Journal and the Lexington Herald and the Register and the Associated Press. Uh, I was editor of The Progress the year before President Vincent was born, <laughs> which uh, sort of dates me a little, in an in a act of family modesty, he almost said it, but he didn't. His brother Steve is a Pulitzer Prize winning uh, editorial cartoonist. The pledge I signed a week, ten, ten years of a week ago, uh, was easy for me to, to do because I truly believe in free speech and freedom of expression. Uh, diversity is an important part, it's an important educational part of any campus, and particularly in this one. There's all kinds of diversity, and my definition of diversity is pretty global, and I include in that the diversity of thought, and the diversity of expression, and the ability to express your thoughts without fear of reprisal or without concern for prior restraint. So, I share President Benson's views on the importance of these names that we honor today. Uh, I do want a little piece of institutional pride to point out to you that, uh, unfortunately, his name is not on this list. But one of your predecessors on this campus, a gentleman named Jeff Newton, uh, has been in harm's way uh, many times. He's won Emmys for his work on 60 Minutes. He's won the Edward, Edward R. Murrow Award for uh, Broadcast Journalism. And Google him. You'll be impressed. So, once again, I'm thrilled to be here, very pleased to be here, honored to be here uh, as we celebrate uh, freedom of speech and expression on this campus and honor these journalists who gave their last full measure of emotion. Thank you, gentlemen.
We will now read the names, location, news organization, and death date of nearly 100 journalists and media workers who've died since January 2018. I'll ask you to line up in turn, beginning with President Emeritus Whitlock, followed by President Benson and our department chair, uh, Dr. Gibbons, over on this side. Come up here, read the information you have in bold, and you can exit this way. We um, decided to have you read the names in the order you come. You'll see a scrolling set of images of people behind you um, that are going to be mentioned. Once you have read your names, please go back to your seat. And um, this reading will take about 30 minutes, so we'll ask you to remain for the entire program. We know some of the names may be difficult to pronounce for native English speakers. So be respectful if someone struggles and do what you can to be as, as clear as you can. The pronunciation help for some of you is given on the sheet you were given. Thank you for being here today. President Whitlock. Wellington de Bazan, Brazil, Journal of Renovina, January 16, 2018. Rob Hassan, United States of America, Capital Gazette, June 28, 2018. Rebecca Smith, United States of America, Capital Gazette, June 28, 2018. Oil, A.R. Salad, Mogadishu, Somalia, Universal TV, December 22nd, 2018. Abdir Rizal Hassan Iman, Mogadishu, Somalia, SBS TV, July 26, 2018. Anwar Al Rakhan, Thai Government, Yaman, La Gormaha El Jamar, June 2nd, 2018. Abdir Isak, Saeed Osman, Galkayo, Somalia, Kadgan, Nevada, September 19th, 2018. Ali Salimi, Kabul, Afghanistan, Michelle TV, April 30th, 2018. Abdul Rahman, Ismail Yassin, Hamaria, Syria, Hamaria, Media Office, February 20th, 2018. Jesus Alejandro Marquez. Jimenez, TPIC, Mexico, Orion Informativo, November 30th or December 1st, 2018. In Jesus, Eugenio Ramos Rodriguez, Mexico, Radio Ore, 99.9 .9 FM, February 9th, 2019. Maharun Darani, Kabul, Afghanistan, Radio Zadi, Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, April 30th, 2018. Panama City, Philippines, Trends and Toms, June 7, 2018. Suleiman Maham, Ethiopia, Dare Dawa, Dare Dawa, Mass Media Agency, July 19, 2018. Sarah Ali Ahmed, Ethiopia, Dare Dawa, Mass Media Agency, Juan Carlos Huerta, Villa Hermosa, Mexico, Sin Reservas, Channel 9, May 15, 2018. And Juan Javier Ortega Reyes, Colombia, El Comercio, April 10 through April 12, 2018. Navin Shah, India, Anik Baskar, March 25, 2018. 
No Rose Ali Rajabi, Afghanistan, 1 TV, April 30th, 2018. Ahmed Azize, Urim al Kubra, Syria, the Aleppo News Network, on August 10th, 2018. Ahmad Abdulwalid, Afrin, Syria, Harabi Media Office, March 19th, 2018. Kirili Randecho Kemo, Central African Republic, the Investigations Management Center, July 13th, 2018. Mohammed Dubai, Gajo, Mogadishu, Somalia, Universal TV, December 22nd, 2018. Mohammed Akadesi, Al Kayani Yamu, Belquist TV, January 22nd, 2018. Angel Eduardo Gahana, Bluefields, Nicaragua, El Meridiano, April 20th, 2018. Laurent Angel Castillo Cifuentes, Guatemala, Nuestro Diario, late January, early February. Mario Leonel Gomez Sanchez, Yajalón, Mexico, El Geraldo de Chiapas, September 21st, 2018. Ahmed Abu Hussein, Jabalia, Israel, and Occupied Palestine Territory, Voice of the People Radio, Bison News Agency, April 25th, 2018. Ahmed Saw, Coast Afghanistan, BBC, April 30th, 2018. Ahmed Hussein Suwale Dabella, Ghana, Tiger Eye Private Investigations, January 16th, 2019. Joey Elena, Darker City, Alba, Philippines, Home, Radio, Rugby's, July 20, 2018. John McInera, Indianapolis, Maryland, Capital, Chesapeake, June 20, 2018. Shujat Bukhari, India, Rising Kashmir, June 14, 2018. Gabriel Alvaro, La Libertad, Philippines, DYJL, FM 94.5, Black Radio, December 28, 2018. Labardo, Vasquez, Azen, Duretes, Zamora, Mexico, and Lex Informito, Region, uh, Regional, March 21st, 2019. Abdul Manan Arkan, Kandahar, Afghanistan, Kabul News, April 25th, 2018. Zachary Zach TV Zone Stoner, United States of America, Zach TV One, May 30th, 2018. Sohail Khan, Pakistan, A2 Time, October 16th. 2018. Saki Asakulati, Yemen, Al Mazdar, October 5th, 2018. Jamal Khashoggi, uh, Saudi Arabia, The Washington Post, October 2nd, 2018. Jane Kuziet, Belkomaka, Slovakia, Actuality, February 21st, 2018. Mexico, Radio Kuchana, January 20th, 2019. Mohammed Ben Khalifa, Libya, Freelance, January 19th, 2019. Mohammed Akhtar, Kabul, Afghanistan, Agents France Press, July 22nd, 2018. J. 
Jame Abdullah Musif, Al Mawari District, Yemen, Al Mawari Radio Broadcasting Center, September 16, 2018. Mohammed Salim Pangar, Afghanistan, Radio Television, Afghanistan, October 18, 2018. Mohammed Yusuf, Indonesia, Kamanuan, June 10, 2018. Leslie Ann Pam Pamela Montenegro Del Rio, Mexico, El Salon, February 5, 2018. Maxim Borodin, Russia, Novi Den, April 15, 2018. Paul Rivera Sprava, Colombia, El Comercero, April 10 through 12, 2018. Riyad Faris, Syria, Radio Fresh, November 23, 2018. Carlos Dominguez Rodriguez, Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, Freelance, January 13, 2018. Bashar Alatar, Arvin, Syria, Arvin United, United, Unified pardon me, Media's Office, March 12, 2018. Ziad Al Sharabi, Yemen, Abu Dhabi TV, January 28, 2019. Mustafa Salma, Syria, Sama TV, July 16, 2018. Musa Abdul Karim, Libya, Fasania, July 31, 2018. Leonardo Gabriel Hernandez, Honduras, Vail TV, March 17, 2019. Ghazi Rasuli, Cable Afghanistan, 1 TV, April 30th, 2018. Hamoud Aljanaid, Kalfranville, Syria, Radio Fresh, November 23rd, 2018. Ibrahim Boyadin Ahmed, Mogadishu, Somalia, Universal TV, December 22nd, 2018. Sosan Mahmoud Hirqua, Afghanistan, Zaman, March 18, 2019. Zishan Bud, Pakistan, Nawa I Walk, March 27, 2018. Edmund Sistoso, Dumagoy City, Philippines, DYGB FM, May 1st, 2018. Ephraim Segura April, Colombia, El Comercio, between April 10th through 12th, 2018. Yasir Murtaja, Israel and the Occupied Palestinian Territory, April 7th, 2018. Laura Sousa, Brazil. Uh, Radio Corolla, June 21, 2018. Yar Mohammed, Turkey, Afghanistan, Tola News, April 30th, 2018. Uh, Hector Gonzalez Antonio, Ciudad Victoria, Mexico, Excel, Sior, uh, Imagine, Total of CS, May 28th through 29th, 2018. Ibrahim Al Munjar, Saidas, Syria, SY24, May 17, 2018. Santiago Barroso Alfaro, Mexico, Buenos Dias, San Lucas, Red 653, March 15, 2019. Abdul Amir Hashid, Elisha Dani, Somalia, Daryl Sana, October 27, 2018. Hermes Almadi, Afghanistan, Tolo News, September 5, 2018. 
Gerald Fishman, Annapolis, Maryland, Capital Gazette, June 28, 2018. Shaw Wright, Afghanistan, France, uh, Afghanistan Agents, France Press, April 30th, 2018. Jefferson Pereza Lopez, Goiás, Brazil, Area Rio FM, January 17th, 2018. And Javier Enrique Rodriguez Valderas, Cancun, Mexico, now 10, August 29th, 2018. Wendy Winters, United States of America, Capital Gazette, June 28th, 2018. Victoria Mary Nova, Bulgaria, TMV, October 6th, 2018. Sandeep Sharma, India, News World, March 26th, 2018. Talim Talaj, Afghanistan, Marshall, T Marshall TV, April 30th, 2018. Samim Faramars, Afghanistan, Tolo News, September 5th, 2018. Ruben, Pat, Connie, Mexico, Seminar, July 24, 2018. Salon, uh, Kakar. Afghanistan, Radio Avadi, Radio for Europe, Radio Liberty, April 30, 2018. Uh, Muhammad Dahad Amwari, Afghanistan, Radio Television, Afghanistan, August 10, 2018. Abdullah Hunanzi, Kabul, Afghanistan, Radio Azadi, Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, April 30th, 2018. Abdi Qadir, Hassan Yusuf, Mogadishu, Somalia, Universal TV, December 22nd, 2018. Alexander Rastigiv, Chemo Central, African Republic, the Investigations Management Center, July 30th, 2018. Ali Ash Muhammad Yusuf, Al Mari Yemen, Amar Radio Broadcasting Center, September 16, 2018. Abdullah Al Khaji, Kanea Yemen, Bokus TV, April 13, 2018. And Abdullah Al Manchester, Al Khadir Gabriel Rage, Yemen, Al Sahar. <coughs> Shandan Tiwari, Shatra, India, Aj newspaper, October 30th, 2019. Akayun Tanda Sahu, India, Dordarshan, October 30th, 2018. Thank you all for coming out to our memorial today. Uh, we appreciate your all's participation in the event. Um, please uh, hang on to the First Amendment Week uh, memorial program. The remainder of the, the week's activities are on there, and we hope that you all can join us for, for more of our events. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Society of Professional Journalists, the International Society of Weekly Newspaper Editors, the EKU Office of the President, and the EKU Department of Communication. And you all have these names uh, that you've read today, you know, what publication these people worked for and their dates of death. I really urge you all to take those home with you today and learn a little bit more, research this individual uh, whose names you read today and learn a little bit more about the work that they've done and who they were. Thank you all so much for coming out.